But we just got this new version that I'm really into. And what I like about it is these things have been out forever and no one's really re-envisioned this thing for a while. And they recently came out with this guy and it looks a little bit different. It's got this kind of honeycomb grip on it. Um, and the trigger is up top and the trigger holds on to the tip of the baton instead of the way it used to be. And what I really like about this is that trigger is so much more compact. So it's got a, a little safety switch here. And so right now the safety's on, so that trigger can't be pushed. And so you could just easily just slide that into your pocket. And uh, you know, it's fairly concealed. So there's a couple of things I really like about this baton. First off, it's got this glass breaker on the end of it, which you don't see on any of the other spring-loaded batons. And that could actually come in really handy if you're ever stuck in your vehicle. And second off, it's got this wrist strap that uh, you know keeps you from dropping it. So that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, but to open it, you just take off the safety, push the trigger and it pops right open. And it's just a really nice baton. And it closes exactly the same way as the others. I just grab the handle, strike it down, put the safety on, and then it's nice and secure. But what I really care about is testing the durability of these. So let's go ahead and test them out. Okay, so if we look at the watermelon from that strike, it demolished it. You know, I could actually feel the power when I was using this baton. It's uh, a little bit heavier than the other baton and it just feels like you've got a really strong weapon here. So um, that just destroyed that watermelon. Well, let's just make sure it still functions properly. Yeah, it's good.